Hey guys, Mark here, bringing you another Nintendo Box video, and today we have another Nintendo No. And today is actually about how Nintendo were to lose Squaresoft, and this massive behemoth of an RPG company, which made so many games for Nintendo in the NES, SNES era, which left them in the N64 era to go to PlayStation. And this was fairly simple, the reasoning for this. It was because the CD-ROMs that PlayStation used could hold far more storage and were far cheaper to develop for than that of the N64 with its use of cartridges. And Nintendo just kind of seemed kind of held back in the past as far as this goes. They didn't seem really like they wanted to go into using CD-ROMs, whereas Sega had with their Sega Saturn system, and of course Sony did with their first system, that of the PlayStation, and Square just wanted to use this power that the CD-ROM could give and make the games look slightly better, just make them have pre-rendered graphics, make sure that the game wasn't fully polygonal as we see in that tech demo for the N64, what Final Fantasy 7 would have been, that fully polygonal kind of game and it just doesn't look quite to the standard that the PlayStation does. So they just wanted to make a fully more realised game and that was only available to them they thought on the PlayStation. So they moved over and as you guys may well know they got really cosy with Sony and Sony actually bought up quite a lot of shares in Squaresoft at the time. And of course Squaresoft are no longer, they are now known as Square Enix which is a merger between Square and Enix, just stating the obvious there. And that wasn't the only reason for it, guys. Sure, the cartridges versus CD-ROMs were a massive reason, but another, quite simply, was that Nintendo have always been bad with third parties. Always been bad with them, and that is an absolute fact, guys. I mean, that's fairly hard to debate because they just have. I mean, that was a huge, huge asset for them when they first went into the gaming market and when they first released the Famicom and the NES because it meant that they could avoid what had brought the gaming market down before in the huge crash that happened before because that was due to an oversaturation of games in the market and it causing consumers not to trust the developers and the companies that were publishing the games whereas now only games that were of a good standard would come to the system and you could trust that every game that you got on the NES or SNES would be of a very good quality and that was a huge thing for them but when actual legitimate competition came in such as Sega which didn't pose as much of a threat but then more so Sony with the PlayStation and bringing these CD-ROMs in Nintendo couldn't really afford to be absolute idiots with the third parties. They couldn't afford to be so tight and put so much regulations on the third parties. They just really couldn't afford to do that because there was another option. There was a possibly better option in that of Sony with the PlayStation or possibly Sega with the Sega Saturn. Although, as we know, that's not really the case. The Sega Saturn wasn't that great of a system. But Nintendo was no longer the big dog anymore. They had real legitimate competition and they could no longer afford to be kind of pulling the strings on all the third parties and making them do as they wish. Now they had to play the game and they just failed to do this in the N64 era and that's why many companies moved over to Sony PlayStation and then that further went when they moved over to Sony PlayStation and the Microsoft Xbox and as you well know guys, Nintendo have been playing catch up ever since and it's just never really worked. They've always been kind of out of touch with the third parties from that point on. That leads us to the end of this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This one wasn't actually scripted. It was a bit more of just uh, go with it. I know all the information. I researched it beforehand so I just wanted to tell it you guys. So did you enjoy it? Was it better than usual or do you prefer the more scripted format? And please guys, if you have any idea of what you'd like to see in Nintendo know of, please leave it down in the comment section below, because I would love to get some ideas from you guys, and I'd just love to do one that you want to know about. So anything from Nintendo's history, you know, any game series, any developers, then I would love to do it about that, and I just really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys.